25 right now on your Tuesday morning. And, you know, feeling overwhelmed is pretty natural, especially in the mix of the holidays. Let's not even add in the travel troubles so many people are experiencing right now. But there are ways that we can manage it, and the new year is the perfect time for a reset to address it. This morning, award-winning executive coach Mitchell Creasy shows us three ways to keep it simple in the midst of chaos. Good morning, Mitchell. So many people need this message today. Absolutely. So good to see you, Anita. Great to see you as well. First, let's go through those steps. You say it all starts by making it all about you. What does that mean? Well, despite how it looks, no one actually made you angry. No one actually sent you into chaos. The spiral, the anger, that was already within you. This time, soul, it just did you a favor in bringing it to the surface so you can see it, so you can shift it, so you can actually move forward. When you take ownership of your emotions, when you take ownership of how you feel, you put yourself back in the driver's seat, which makes it so much easier to get where you're actually going. Ooh, okay, all right. It's easy to push aside our own needs when we're overwhelmed. So. How does that actually fuel anger when we're pushing what we need aside? So anger itself is the result of an unmet need. And despite popular, popular belief, it's not anybody else's job to meet our needs, not our boss, not our partner, no one. It is our job to meet our own needs. So when you give yourself what you want, more alone time, better opportunity to make more money, more peace and freedom in your relationship, when you give those things to yourself, Sometimes it's just snacks. <laughs> Make sure I have some snacks on hand. <laughs> Hangry. <laughs> okay. And, and, you know, it can be hard to understand our own anger like that. Uh, how can we get to the bottom of the why? Uh, when, why are we even so mad in the first place? So I'll give you a real-time example. Yes, yesterday, I'm building a fire. My son's behind me. He needs a diaper change. My wife's in the kitchen. And my son clearly needs a diaper change. And this fire is giving me a real hard time. It's going out as I'm trying to light it. It's not a good scene. And I know, I'm not going to lie to you, I started getting angry. I could feel the agitation starting to boil. And then I stopped and I asked myself, what am I really upset about here? I wasn't upset about the fire. I wasn't upset about my son. I was upset that I did not take the 10 minutes I usually take every morning to be connect with myself. As soon as I realized that, shift it right back into peace. The anger went away and we moved forward. You are never upset for the reason you think you are. When you believe something that just isn't true, like no one supports me and the world's giving me a hard time, you get angry. But when you see yourself in the moment as you really are someone who just needs some time for themselves, you slide right back into peace. Oh, that's good stuff. And what happens if we hold on to anger? I think in our last few seconds here, we really need to address that as well, that that can be very unhealthy. If we hold on to anger, all we're doing is taking up space to receive the insight that actually move us forward towards where it is we want to go. Thank you so much. Uh, again, so many people are uh, in unfortunate circumstances, and uh, that piece of advice could be right on time for them. I appreciate it. Anita, have yourself a wonderful day. Same to you. 828, everybody.